It was a big day for the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, reopening its doors to the public for the first time in six months. It shut down, of course, as the COVID-19 pandemic fired up last March. As WBZ's Paul Burton explains, though, everything is not exactly back to normal. It's like coming home. Mm. So walking through the galleries today and seeing the Copleys that we love. After being shut down for six months due to the pandemic, the Museum of Fine Arts opened its doors this weekend to visitors. Bring people back in, serving them, giving them a place to gather. It, it just feels great. MFA Director Matthew Teitelbaum says they are opening up the museum in phases with a number of exhibits on display. Allowing people their moments with great works of art, that's life affirming and you know it's exciting to be able to offer that. Being shut down and witnessing some of the events of 2020 allowed the MFA to pivot and focus on the issues surrounding communities today. So when the visitor comes in the first thing they'll see is Black History's Black Futures which is a really remarkable exhibition organized primarily from our collection by a group of youth uh, from Boston. Other highlights include Art of the Americas, featuring women take the floor. It really tells the story of the contribution made by many women over many years. In this COVID-19 culture, obviously protocols have changed here at the MFA to ensure visitor safety. You have to register online, you'll be screened as you enter in, and the amount of people going in all at once has been reduced. We are so excited that the museum is reopening. We have been literally counting down the days. Jen Paulin missed taking her 11-year-old daughter Mina to the museum. Mina is part of the Young Spectrum program. I tear up when I talk about it. It's just, mm -hmm. it's such an important part of our family. 150 years of inspiring artwork on display, giving people something to look at and discuss. Communities need museums to allow us to share ideas and experiences. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.